This video shows a common fix for a stiff or rough clutch pedal in an S2000. I want to give thanks to DB Zerk on S2KI forums for having a great tutorial and for inspiring this video. So you're going to need a couple things first. A low profile jack for one to get under your car. Some high temperature grease. I use lithium grease. Something to abrade metal sandpaper or a Dremel tool, and something to polish metal. I used Scotch-Brite. This is the little pin that we're going to be sanding down. See the little nub on top? That's what's causing the problem. So first get your jack. I've got the three-ton jack from Harbor Freight and make sure to put something under your rear tires so your car doesn't roll backwards and pull the emergency brake very firmly and find your proper jacking location This floor jack fits just barely under the car. I can't imagine that there are many jacks that fit underneath this car. It's pretty low. And get your jack stands. Get them ready and in place. So this is a location to place your jack stands. It's kind of where the metal bends over. Sorry the video is not very clear. This is my cell phone. It's not as good as the other camera. So I'm going to go around the car and show you the other side. This one's a little easier to see. Alright, lower your jack down slowly so it rests on the jack stands. Get your fancy sliding device and slide on under to see what we're working with. So there's the clutch slave cylinder. And it's got two bolts holding it to the transmission. And they are 12 millimeter bolts. So there's the pin. You can see it's worn down. It's a little hard to tell in this video, but I'll show you a close-up later. I'm picking up the little nub right now on the end. So you want to take this rubber boot off the top of the slave cylinder, and then the pin comes out and then pull the boot off of the little neck on this pin. There it is. And then I'm pulling the boot off of the transmission where the uh, release fork goes in. So here's a close-up. You can see it's really worn down. It's got that little metal nub and even a little bishop mouth or something scored in. So I sanded it down, sanded that nub off and polished it a little bit. Got some high temperature grease and you don't need to apply a ton here. It's more important to get it into the cup on the release fork. I'll show that later. So here's the cup on the release fork and the little hole in the center 
is there to serve as a reservoir for extra grease. So make sure when you get this all together, it's uh, got enough grease in that little reservoir. So I'm just showing how easy it is to get this fork clicked in and out. So you don't have to worry that it's not engaged, you'll feel it. So here's a close up of it going in and clicking right in. There it goes. All right, much better. Oh. So it used to be very, very stiff and it would intermittently be nice and most of the time just really difficult to push but now I can push it with one toe. Feels like butter now so great fix.